our intern Sarah Acorn. <laughs> Former intern Sarah Acorn from Old Rochester Regional. All smiles in the studio this morning. She's graduated. <laughs> she's moved on. And this morning, she is, is Miss New Bedford. Good morning. Yay, Miss New Bedford. So exciting. <laughs> Thank you so much. So excited for you, Sarah. Thank you. It must be weird to be on that side of the microphone here because we've welcomed in Miss New Bedford here before and you were you an were intern here. here. Yeah. yeah, you know, my... The Miss New Bedford pageant last year was my first time competing ever. I knew nothing about the Miss America organization, so I was just excited to have the opportunity to actually compete and learn something. So I was going to be here Monday morning regardless. Yeah. And um, Olivia, uh, my uh, the former Miss New Bedford, she was here and she was so excited and I was just so happy for her. It was so hard to not be happy for yeah. her because I knew she was going to have the year of a lifetime right, and right. now I'm here. Good so exciting. And the timing couldn't be better. I mean, it probably was meant to happen this way. Oh, you absolutely. You graduated high school, you're in your first year of college. Mm -hmm. did, did you, do you think that you did a better job this year than you did last year? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. More I, confident, I bet. Yeah, I, I competed a lot throughout the season, you know, just to get experience and interview is not my strong suit for a while and you know this time I went into the interview room and it felt so much like a conversation like I was just talking to you guys right now so basically what you're saying is you owe it all to us yes <laughs> is absolutely what you're because we well I started my journey here you yeah. know, when I, so I started you're working welcome. here. You're welcome. Thank you very much, <laughs> of course. So now you were uh, also uh, crowned Miss, Miss Bristol, Plymouth. Miss Plymouth County, right? Yes. So I, um, like I said, I used all of my past experience and the previous title to gain experience for this title. You know, this is what I really wanted. And now I get to serve a massive community. And I used my my previous title and I learned so much about how important local you, title holders are. You did a lot of uh, appearances. You, you, you know, were really out and about all over the place. So yeah, it was. She's exciting. conquering and one yes. region after another. She's like her, her brain is moving yes. west. west. So <laughs> Tell, it's like Miss Bristol County, Miss New Bedford, Miss yeah. Fall Rivers coming up. Like she's just going to be like <laughs> yeah, but the right reigning now, queen. Right now, I'm living as Miss New Bedford. <laughs> I, I, know. I oh, am good happy. For you. Tell my everybody your platform. Was, oh yeah, so my platform is called I'm Perfection, which is pushes the importance of body positivity so yeah i'm i'm excited I, i'm hoping to get into the boys and girls club and maybe create like an after school program for them and really just an area where they can feel comfortable and vent about their feelings and you know how the media is making them feel and just give them a safe space good that, you That's know great. i wish i had growing up coming off of the heels of uh, miss massachusetts going to miss america yeah. Uh, you know, Jillian Zuko, and she's right in the Tri-Town with you as well. Oh, yeah. She, oh, my goodness. I owe a lot of my success to her and her mom, Kelly. They have been so helpful. And She's a former Miss New Bedford as well. She yeah. is, yes. 2014, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes, 14. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I went to one of her. And she was like, oh, you know, I really want you to compete. You you would do really well. You're so talented. And I was like, you know what, Jillian? Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see what happens. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, then at least I can say that I tried it. And I fell in love with it. It's so much fun. And I meet so many amazing people. I've met my best friend in the world, Megan Rubidoux, who is um, one of the Miss Taunton girls. Um, so she has been... a a super help through all of this i actually forgot all of my earrings coming home for pageant weekend so i called her crying stressed out i was like i don't have any of my jewelry i don't know what i'm gonna do she's like say no more i got you i got you i'm the queen of earrings so i was like okay perfect so the day of i think maybe a half an hour before curtains went up i had this bundle of earrings just hand delivered yeah, to me that's so great was, good she, friend everybody yeah, yeah she's super super helpful and everybody who is you know, been there along the way, has been just an immense help, and I'm just so thankful. So when do you compete for Miss Massachusetts? I believe that is the end of June, beginning of July. Um, we just started oh, so this year, getting for paperwork, so I got lots of time. Yeah, so you don't compete for that until the end. Yes. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. 
All right, hey, Sarah Acorn, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you so much, guys. So happy for you. Thank you. She's making what the media run. And they didn't have, they, you know, what, what was nice about Sarah is they didn't have to break the bad news to her that the first official appearance is on the Rock and Fox show. She already, oh, knew. She already knew that whole thing. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and they still, even though they know this, they still compete, which is pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. it's great. <laughs> I love coming here. It was so nice to be back. Thank Good to have you, you back, Sarah. Me. Congratulations. Thank it was really you so great much. seeing you. I saw you yesterday. And yes. It was uh, great seeing you yesterday and, and seeing that big Everyone beaming must smile. Everyone be so proud. Your parents, your mom and dad must oh, be so yeah. proud. Oh, yeah. Dad, dad yeah. cried. I oh, mean, I Michael, you know my dad. Her He's dad, a, by the way. We've, we've known her dad for years. For, yeah. for those of you Carl Acorn. Oh, who yes. uh, frequented the jukebox back yes. in the day. <laughs> he, was he, was our, DJ, he was our house DJ. DJ Carl Acorn. Yeah. And Sarah's like, looks at him as like an, like an old, uh, yeah, an old man. dorky <laughs> DJ. And it's not true. Your dad was just as cool. As I was if, back in the day. If I, I had a dime, <laughs> if I had a dime for every time my dad said, "Oh, I used to spin this song. I used to spin this song all the She's time." She's like, "Please, dad, I'd don't say that anymore." I'd We're gonna rich. say that someday. <laughs>